Whether related by blood or not, giving kids the love and care they need is a priority for one Utah woman. Here's our final nominee in the Remarkable Women campaign that is sponsored by West Shore Home. Take a look now at Jen's story. I've just done what I've had to do. Jen Gabrielson says she is filling her bucket. The mother of seven and caretaker of dozens more is a remarkably compassionate child advocate. I am just always kind of in awe of what she does. She just doesn't, she's so service oriented and loves children and is just such a good example to me. Jen's husband Aaron says his wife is a natural born caregiver with a lot of love and so much good in her heart. He says nothing gets in her way of helping children. She just doesn't let anything stop her. When she's like, hey, we're gonna raise this money for this kitchen or do this, I'm just kinda like, how on earth are you gonna fit that into everything else you got going? And she just does it. So she just, she's an unstoppable force, um, pretty much. She's like a speeding train heading down the tracks, which perfectly pairs with the force motivating Jen. The love of a child lost in a drowning accident nearly seven years ago, at the age of three. His name is Crew. He was with obsessed trains. with trains, yes. yes. He loved it. Crew's passion for trains now lives on in his mom's humanitarian work. Through a nonprofit she started called Crew's Service Train, Jen's focus is on helping orphans and families around the world living in extreme poverty. Plus, she's a proud foster mom. I knew I wanted to do something with children. Um, because I, I love kids, I mean, I have seven, so. <laughs> but, um, and also just to honor crew. So she really leads the way, and I just follow behind her. Whether she's collecting donations for orphans in Haiti or Africa, or taking in an emergency foster child at a moment's notice, Jen says she's the one actually benefiting the most. And I feel like it's kind of a selfish thing that I do, you know, I mean, because it does, it fills my bucket, it helps me to, um, to deal with the grief of losing a child. Jen and Aaron say they'd give it all up just to have little crews back, but find comfort in knowing the love they share with the orphans and the 30 kids they have fostered is a beautiful tribute to their son, Crew. You know, this terrible thing we went through, I mean, there really is just nothing I don't know of that's harder than, you know, losing a little three-year-old, but um, to turn that into something great, it's been, it's been really great to watch her take something terrible and turn it into something great. For Jen, she says it's about paying it forward, re-gifting the love and the joy she received from Crew, who she calls her little buddy. A boy who loved trains and loved the movie Frozen, especially an animated snowman who loves warm hugs. That's what I'm doing. I'm just taking the next step because that's all I can do. People that do what they know they can and should, um, no matter what their circumstances are. I mean, Jen took what she had on her own and did the best she could with what she had. And I think that's remarkable. And our thanks to West Shore Home for sponsoring our Remarkable Women campaign and telling Jen and Cruz's story.